Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And the Lord is warning somebody. He said, don't give it away. The information that you are getting about yourself. Somebody, your intuition, it is very right. Be careful about your intuition. Be careful about your intuition. What you hear that is very right about you, whenever you say it out, you don't know why you, how you are being attacked. Like you are the kind of person who really don't associate. But suddenly you realize that people just know things about you without you knowing how they know these things about you. Your intuition, how you, you know, it is a voice that always speaks to your heart. Sometimes when the thing now happens, you are like, ah, I feel it. I feel it. I was feeling it inside of me. I felt it, I felt it, I felt it. You felt it, what did you do? When you felt something is coming, something beautiful or something ugly, ugly, when you feel it inside of you, this is God telling you, this is what is about to happen. If it is a beautiful thing, it's for you to pray for the thing to become a reality. If, in a, if it is an ugly thing that you feel, it is for you to pray for the thing not to come to reality. Oh, I feel this inside of me. The next thing you said it out to someone. I don't know. I'm just feeling beauty. I'm just feeling you don't even know who you are speaking to. There are people who need just one word to use to attack the blessings of another. This is something you need to understand that the witches are not omnipresent. The devil is not omniscience. Hallelujah. That is why you see that they always look for something to use. That is why you see that they take a cloth of somebody, they use mirror, they use picture, they use, because if they don't use something, they cannot know what is going on in the life of an, the person that they want to attack. So that is why you hear monitoring mirror, this and that. And if they are using this thing, it is either they use their name or they use clothes, they use their uh, uh, family name to make sure they see the person and see where the person is now, what is going on around the life of this person and all of that. Hallelujah. What they don't know, they cannot attack. What they don't know, they cannot attack. Don't be that person that feel like, oh... I felt that somebody is going to die. You felt it, you felt it, you felt it. You just said it out. You did not do anything about it. So when it, uh, And once they heard about it, ah, you felt it that somebody is about to die. The next thing they go and attack somebody in the family. And the next thing somebody is dead. The Lord rebukes Satan. When you felt it that someone is about to die, that feeling is an intuition. It's your intuition that something is not okay. You have to pray and say, no, no one will die. No one will die. Don't give the devil, you know, the loophole that they are looking for to know what is going on in your life. Your intuition is right. You are hearing things, but you don't know how to go about it. You are feeling things, but you don't know how to go about it. If you don't know how to go about it, go about it in the way of prayers. Start going about it in the word of prayers, by, pray, by praying on it, by praying about it. You understand? Yes, by telling God about how you feel. Lord, this is how I'm feeling. It is not a good feeling. But if this is an evil that is coming upon me and my family, let it not happen. Lord, this is how I'm feeling. I am feeling like the testimony is about to happen. But I don't know why it is not happening. Lord, let this testimony happen. Sometimes you need to deal with some things the way it's supposed to be. Don't, don't be in your feeling and just throw away what God is telling you. 
or what the Spirit of the Lord is ministering into your heart. I pray the Lord will give us more wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.